what can you print on the circular build tray? And today, we're gonna answer just that. Let's get into it. Using the Stratasys F900, we were able to 3D print the build volume of the J35 in ivory, plus this little black piece to indicate the extra one inch build volume on the J55. What's this piece missing? This is something that we call the transition zone. And the transition zone allows the head to move from ring to ring to allow the full build volume to be printed. Let's take a look at some of the different objects that may or may not fit in the Stratasys J35 and J55 build volume. So up first, we have our traditional hair dryer. Fits nice like that. And what do you say we go with an adjustable wrench? Let's see what else we could fit. A can of spray paint. Little too tall, but we could easily lay this down and print multiple copies. Next up, we have this 32 ounce growler. And how about an F-Series print head? No problem. We could even do things a little bit more functional like this game controller prototype. But so let's go ahead. We can see we can easily fit these two halves and probably a few more. Let's say we have this pair of PPE goggles, different packaging prototypes, larger boxes, not a problem in this printer. More PPE, perhaps a ventilator mask prototype, things with clear components, flexible, all possible on the J35 and J55. Now what about this drill? You can see here, this fits in this build tray without problem. But we could take all of the different pieces and arrange them on our build tray in an advantageous way that allows us to stack many different parts on this build all at once. One of the best advantages of the, of the circular build tray design is that so long as we're, we're printing in all three lanes of the printer, the build time is not gonna increase. That whole tray of tools fits in the build volume. Now, that's all fine and well for large prototypes that maybe take up a lot of room with some wacky shapes, but what about higher throughputs of smaller objects? We're gonna find out just how many 12 ounce aluminum beverage cans we can fit in this build volume. For those of you keeping score at home, that was 18 12 ounce aluminum beverage cans, which have a diameter of roughly 2.6 inches. So that just goes to show how much you can truly print on a Stratasys J35 and J55.